fairly loose portrait now of this lady in the flower garden. We've got uh, just three more paintings to do to finish this series. The two portraits, another little oil to be a bit more photographic than this one, and this fairly loose watercolour I want to do. I only need three brushes, my over mop, a number 10 round and a number 5 smaller round. Standard set of watercolours that we've seen. And I want to be fairly fluid with this and have quite a bit of gentle wet into wet blending one into another and lost and found edges. Okay, okay I want to start with the uh, hat here. I need to put a little uh, Oriolan yellow on there just to get me started off to have a slight tint of that light area because nothing's ever going to be pure white or very seldom if there's light shining on it and hopefully we have some sunlight on this so that's why we'll have that yellow in there. That'll give me a, a slight wash then so this is a, a wash of one colour. I'm going to take a little cobalt violet and drop that in and let it come down. Try my brush and just suck away a little of the lighter colour up here. So we can use the brush to suck it away or you can use a bit of tissue even just to do that. Just lighten it up around that edge. And under here it's a fraction darker so I'm going to take a little more of the yellow. But this time I'm going to use a little chrome yellow Get the sunlight effect coming round there, underneath the hat there, and cool it down a bit with a touch of green. Just give that edge there a little bit of shadow into it and around this edge here. So we're going to try and do this almost in, in one stroke brush work, just tinting little bits of it to get the effects we want. Now when that's a fraction dryer, we could add a little bit of texture to that, but uh, at the moment that's good enough. Straight down now into her, her face and skin tones. I'm going to start off with yellow ochre all the way down her arm. Working on the vertical, so I have to be careful about the trickles that might occur here. And while I'm at it, we'll go around this basket, the lighter edge of the basket too. I've got to work fairly quickly because I want to drop wet into wet into this, so I can't afford to spend too long painting it. Notice I left a little bit here at the tips of the fingers because I want to be a slightly lighter colour on them. Here it wants to be a little softer so I'm just going to get some clean water and gently while it's before it dries out blend that in. Our paper's almost dry so we're actually we're almost putting a, a glaze over it now. It's just to darken those colours, those tones down a bit so we're still working a little bit wet into it. Some bird sienna. <coughs> A little touch of purple. The idea is to do just a couple of strokes and try and complete the painting. And I say we'll let the wet into wet do the effects up here as well. Now we're going to go quite a bit darker. The same colours, the purple and the burnt sienna. We still see the drawing underneath so no worry there, let's see what I'm doing. I'm letting the wet into wet get darker and darker as we go along. To add a little bit more ultramarine to it now. Let gravity do the work for me after that. So watercolours I think are the best to be fairly rapid. You want to keep it nice and fresh. I'm using my big oval mop so we, we start with our biggest brushes and finish with our smallest brushes. Now whilst that's drying I'm going to take a little of the cobalt violet again and just tint down her dress here a bit. The much thinner glaze of it. And while that's still wet, I need to go back into there and just drop in some of the shadows. Now this is dried off a bit up here so we can afford to come back and just play with some of the texturing, just delicately feeling the texturing of the hat up here. 
tip of the brush, tickling it in. We can soften that a bit afterwards when it's drier, just by putting some clean water over it. But I'm going to just add a few more indications of the weave of this hat. Now, back to the face again. This warm that we were putting in here should be able to drop in slightly stronger shadow now. Just, it's still a little bit wet. I'm risking it. playing with and indicating these edges and colours. We haven't used any masking fluid in this one. We're about there. So one or two more little bits of dark where it's necessary on the shading. I'm going to stand up now and get back from the painting because if you're too close up to something like this you really can't see enough of what's going on. But you're so careful at this stage because you do not want to not making very dark lines or marks or will stand up like a sore thumb. But she does have a couple of pearl earrings here. What I'm going to do is just take a little bit of so I I acrylic. Indicate those earrings for fun. Mm -hmm. 